Bet you can't clone us, Kobe. I bet you I can. Challenge is accepted. So first I had to figure out exactly where you guys were. So I saw you're by some rainbow looking rocks. So I typed in rainbow rocks online and it came up with the seven color stones in Jean, Nevada. I grabbed my cloning kit and drove seven hours and a half through the desert till I saw those exact stones that you guys licked so we can swab your DNA right off the side of them. Now we had to figure out exactly which stone you lick. So there was seven pillars, as it's called the Seven Stone Mountains. So I knew this one wasn't it as that silver. This one had the black one on top. I knew that one wasn't it. That one has the white and pink one. That's not it. That one has the yellow on the bottom and I'm looking for the black stone, wherever that one is. So we kept walking. Then we saw the next pillar. That one was pink with another pink stone. Finally, we see the black stone, the one that you licked, and it was time to swab your DNA right off the side of it. And that's exactly what we did. We took our Q-tips and swabbed your DNA right off the side of the rocks and put it in our chemical-grade DNA tubes and headed back to my laboratory in Los Angeles, California. Back at the lab, I put both of your DNAs inside an agar plate. What this is going to do is make it sterile and clean so I can clone it later. I then put hydrochloric 15% acid on top. This will make it HD clear underneath my microscope when I look at it. Underneath the microscope, the DNA was moving around absolutely perfect. This is exactly what it looks like underneath the microscope. Each string-like substance you see is one of the pieces of DNA cells that I'm going to be cloning into a human. I then put FESO4 solution right on top, which is going to help with the colonization process of the DNA cloning. What this does, you can see the smoke on top filters out into the red substance. That's the substance we need to clone. Once I was done pouring, it was time to do the next step of the process, which was add citric acid into each agar plate before I start the streaking process. Once I was finished, it was time to start the streaking process. Listen up closely. Streaking agar plates is an essential lab technique used to separate all colonies when dealing with cloning. After it was time to put the cells in a Bunsen burner, which is also used in a cloning technique. This is both of you guys after only 30 days old and soon I will have both of you guys for myself.